Welcome to the SMB Community Podcast with hosts Amy Babinchek, James Kernan, and Carl Polichek. Produced by Kernan Consulting and for the international MSP community, we are dedicated to making every IT professional a successful IT professional. This podcast is sponsored by the Kernan Consulting's Millionaire Mastermind Roadshow. Get the answers you need to grow your business guaranteed. This MSP Business Owner Conference is two full days of powerful information, instruction, and action to show you how to thrive in this troubled economy. More information in the show notes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the SMB Community Podcast. It's James Kernan with Kernan Consulting Live. And I've got a special guest today. Uh, We've actually got Rob Fegan from uh, Venvito. And Venvito is a a firm, and this is going to be near and dear to your hearts because we talk about this all the time. Uh, They help help partners engage with Microsoft, right? And gee, do we not all need help with that? (laughs) Hey, Rob, welcome to the show. Thanks, James. I'm really excited for this conversation because it is a topic near and dear to me. You know, being... Uh, a recovering MSP business owner or tech business owner. You know, the first half of my career, I think I bought, sold, owned, ran seven different tech companies and put a lot of gray hair on my head, specifically because of the confusion around Microsoft and the channels confusing enough, right? And hard enough. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, everybody partners with Microsoft and everybody wants to get more out of that investment and, and leverage that, you know, get leads, get, uh, get money, uh, get free software. There's all sorts of resources available if if you know how to engage. So we're going to dig into that in just a minute. But real quick, let's go back in time. Tell me, give the audience a little bit more of your background. How did you get into technology and uh, where did you come from up to this point? Sure. For me, I actually started off as a computer programmer. So I was uh, back in the days of COBOL and Fortran for the Wayback Machine. (laughs) (laughs) I I stayed in that for quite a while. And then I I saw I was working for some software companies and I saw the salespeople out there really engaging with customers and really solving business problems and seeing the outcomes of those problems. So I moved from being behind the scenes, I took the leap and moved into an individual contributor role. And I stayed in that for quite a few years. But one of the things that happened, at least in my career, was the companies I worked for, which were all small technology companies, bought and sold. And I was on my third or fourth iteration of that. And I'm like, wait a sec here, I'm done with the being bought and sold. So I started and found or co-founded a Microsoft partner And we grew that in a matter of a few years from zero revenue to millions of dollars in revenue by co-selling and and figuring out how to co-sell with Microsoft. So that's why I'm so excited to talk about this. And when you talked about the conversation topic, I was like, I would love to to share with you my thoughts on that. This this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart because I think just as I was figuring out the whole Microsoft partnership with my marketing team, I had dedicated people in marketing. I had five full-time people in my company before I ended up selling it that were in marketing and a couple of their responsibility uh, for two of the team members were really understanding our top partners programs. And I ran our marketing department like a profit center and we made money, but we did tons and tons of campaigns, events, trade shows, speaking opportunities. And Microsoft was always a big part of that. And, and the programs have all changed today. So, uh, you know, it, it seemed like Microsoft changes it every single month. I'm sure that's <laughs> interesting. You're in technology now. So t- tell us more about Venvito and, and what you guys do. Let's dig into that a little bit. Yeah. So, um, you know, we grew, as I said, we grew that company and then we had an opportunity to sell or had an opportunity to sell. So we took that event and, uh, you know, so it, it was now I was at this place where what do I do next? And I thought about, okay, do I go and build another partnership or And I got asked by a few friends to come in and coach their sellers and their leadership team on how to better integrate with Microsoft. And so I did that with a couple of sort of friends that I had worked with in the past and realized how big a gap there was for partners to understand how do we build this machine or build around this machine called Microsoft. And so I started doing that as a a consultant coming in and sitting with uh, leadership teams and sales teams 
and coaching them on a process that they can implement to really streamline and operationalize their relationship with Microsoft, both in the, at the program level, you referred about, you know, turning your marketing into a profit center. Microsoft is great at supporting partners in terms of incentives and programs, if you know how to. But more importantly, it was how do I integrate or how do I help partners integrate their seller, their seller teams? So if the partner team with the Microsoft field sellers, how do we bring them together to create synergy and drive pipeline? At the end of the day, you know, that's uh, my favorite saying is pipeline saves lives. And when you <laughs> build a machine that delivers consistent pipeline, you know, partners are great at the next step of the selling process. But that finding those initial leads, Microsoft is phenomenal at that because they're already in the lion's share of our company or our prospective customers. So what does a normal engagement look like? Help help the audience understand when you engage, I'm sure you do like an assessment or a consultation meeting to make sure you're a fit. Yeah. But then when you onboard someone, walk them through the process. Yeah, and I, I've broken it down into four core processes or four phases. And the first phase that I talk to partners about is messaging. And you really need to understand you have your customer facing message, but you also have to have a message that is for Microsoft because it's totally different what Microsoft is looking for from you as a partner. So you, you have to be able to communicate how Microsoft wants to hear from you as a partner. So that's step one. Yeah. Step two is all about aligning your sellers with Microsoft. So Microsoft runs something called solution plays around all their different products. And I mean, it's no secret that you know, there's modern work, there's Azure, there's business applications, there's data and AI, there's all kinds of different sales motions. And you have to know where you fit in that ecosystem and align your sales teams to the Microsoft sales teams that are appropriate for you. So that's phase number two. The third phase is around operationalizing um, partner center and marketplace. So Microsoft, all the work you do with Microsoft will run through partner center. So it is critical that you know what and how to use Microsoft Partner Center. And the big change, and you alluded to this earlier, is that Microsoft is changing all the time. Well, yeah. the big change for partners right now is that Microsoft is pushing everything through Marketplace. They want you as a partner to transact through Microsoft Marketplace. They want you to have offers in Marketplace. And I will say it's early in their journey so it's not optimal today. It's not perfect for every partner, but it is yeah. where Microsoft is heading. So I'd encourage every partner to understand what marketplace means to them. Yep. The third and final phase is all about the programs and incentives. Microsoft puts millions and millions of dollars into these buckets of you know, marketing funds, of workshop funds, of customer deployment funds. And you have to understand how to leverage those funds. And you literally can drive millions of dollars of business through the Microsoft programs and incentives. So that's the sort of sort of 50,000 foot view of what I how I help partners is to break it down into those four key components. So, so how do you stay in tune with their gazillion changes they make every single week and every single month? Because that's a that's a big target. It really is. And that's where all the gray hair on the side comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can relate. <laughs> so every week and sometimes multiple times a week, I interview people from Microsoft. A lot of those conversations I actually record and share them uh, through LinkedIn because it is changing so fast. And Microsoft is improving programs. They're changing programs. And you know, it's no secret that Microsoft's fiscal year end is June 30th. So it's like a whole new world every June. So it's always a lot going on. And then I attend conferences. I was just at a conference in uh, Las Colinas, Texas last week with 300 Microsoft people. And so I get to talk to them. And that's a big part of what I do is that I spend a lot of my time just figuring out what Microsoft's doing, what they're going to do next, and uh, share that with the partner community. And so big picture, right? Microsoft historically has really focused on more of their enterprise so a lot of the big dollar programs were focused on their big resellers, right? Yeah. More you do for them, the more they'll compensate you and so forth. But let's talk about the little guys for a minute. So yeah. small, you know, smaller MSPs, smaller VARs, you know, it, are there programs available for them as well? Yeah. And this is actually, a, I'm glad you brought this up because this is a huge change for Microsoft this year. 
and, and going into FY24 or calendar year 24 and beyond is Microsoft now has a brand new focus on what they call small, medium, and corporate businesses. And that can, to Microsoft, that means you think companies, you know, uh, under 5,000 employees, under 7,000 employees, all the way down to that 20 to 50 person company. Mm -hmm. They have a huge focus on that. Um, there was a stat published last week by an executive from Microsoft that Microsoft sees 152 million businesses are have what they call a propensity to purchase and a propensity to use Microsoft. So there is a massive opportunity, I think, for your MSPs, your traditional MSPs, your traditional VARs, systems integrators that play in that small to medium corporate business environment. I think that is a huge opportunity this year. And Microsoft is throwing a ton of money into that um, space. So I think if you are not playing in that space, you're going to be, you're going to miss out. I think that the, the enterprise space is still important to Microsoft, but I think they see the growth happening in the SMB, SMC market. Yeah. And, and most of our audience really targets that SMB market. And it's a, it's a huge uh, growth opportunity uh, mm -hmm. for Microsoft and other partners. So what other things do you want to tell us about your program? Like how long does it take you to go through the four phases? Uh, what does a, a normal engagement look like, um, you know, from a timing standpoint? Yeah, it's um, so for me, I come to realize that a lot of what it is, it's it's learning these new processes and integrating these new processes into your sort of day to day operation. So I typically work with partners over a six month period and we spend the first month or two really just learning and crafting messaging that works. And then it becomes how do we work with our sales teams to help them get out in front of Microsoft, help them connect with you know, there are going to say somewhere between four and 600 salespeople that only sell to the SMB market inside of Microsoft. So how do you connect as a partner with those four to 600 people and really build relationships that drive pipeline? Because at the end of the day, everything I do is in service of driving pipeline. You know, all the programs we try and work on or that we do work on, all the sales training we do, all the leadership training we do is all in service of building pipeline shortening the sales cycle, shortening the time to get to those new customers. So um, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I read uh, I don't know, a few months back that Microsoft did lay off some people in that small business sales team. So they're relying more on the MSPs, the resellers more than ever, you know, to, to hit that SMB market. So, uh, you know, I think it's good timing overall uh, you know, regardless of what size you are, you know, to leverage that Microsoft partnership and uh, and so forth. So, Rob, I follow you online as well. And a little plug for Rob. If you don't follow him on LinkedIn, he's got great content. Make sure you you follow him. Uh, Rob Fegan, F-E-G-A-N. Uh, we'll drop that in the show notes as well up on the on the website. But follow him on LinkedIn for sure. But what else, uh, anything else before we close out that you want to uh, share with the audience? Yeah, so for people that are just getting started, if they head over to my website, which is venvito.net, V-N-V-I-T-O.net, uh, there's a, a document you can download called your um, partner uh, score. So you can go get your uh, partner workbook on scoring how you're doing with Microsoft and the areas that you can focus on. So I'd encourage you to go over there, download that, it's a handy little tool, it takes a couple minutes to fill out, but it will really give you some insight into the places you can focus based on those four phases I talked about. Yep, that's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, I was on the website earlier today, You've got great content up there. I love how you walk through the four phases and there's a lot to it. And you know, some of you might've been a little shell-shocked when, when I asked the question about the typical engagement. It takes six months to get through everything. There's a lot of stuff that they do. <laughs> And it's because Microsoft's so complex. You know, it's not like you can just whittle through it in a week. Right. And that's that's a really important part is it, it takes time to work and build that relationship and partnership with Microsoft, but it can be incredibly lucrative when you do it right. So, all right, Rob. Hey, thanks for being on the program today. Um, best wishes here for the holidays, upcoming holidays, and uh, we will catch up with you soon. And we'd love to have you back on the program. Great. I look forward to it, James. Thanks for today. You bet. Thank you. Thank you.